Today we are working on building a little bit better investigative report. Um, there's obviously days when you are working in the field where there's not a lot of activity and that does not necessarily mean that you're out there um, not building information. Uh, one of the things that I've already I've noticed over the years is individuals who um, are kind of in a hurry to get through their investigative report and stuff aren't building as much information as they possibly can on a setup of a neighborhood or potential um, indicators that you see at a house that would lead you to believe that um, there's potential activity maybe at a different date. A lot of what we're doing today is based on your investigative approach when you get to a case. Uh, we're starting our, our case today a little bit late in the day, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you can't use these, uh, these tricks. Specifically speaking of a, a very cheap mirror that you can buy at any hardware store. Uh, I believe these mirrors are used uh, basically when you're working on engines and stuff. You can lower them down inside an engine to see where potential leaks and stuff are. I use them as a means to, to determine information on a maybe a house or something where I can't necessarily see everything. We are working on a two-story single-family residence. As you can see, the house is um, light blue or grayish and white trim. Uh, very lush landscaping. There is a silver, um, looks like Honda SUV in the driveway. There's not a lot of activity. Um, a typical report on this, there's not a whole lot out front that you can see that would lend you to believe that, um, that there's going to be a lot of activity. The use of the uh, mirror, and I'll show you what I would do with this, is when I would get to a case early in the morning, um, after I would find my surveillance position, I would write up my report, arrived in the vicinity of a claimant's residence, residence described two-story single-family residence, silver Honda parked in the driveway. But to, to develop a little bit more information, I come over and do one of two things. I can go here and look. I can go here and look. And from what I can see here, there is uh, a fairly large cemented in area in the backyard. There's a basketball hoop and there is a stack of six lawn chairs in back. Other than that, very sparse amount of, of activity or potential activity in that person's backyard. Is it breaking the law? No, I mean, we're not jumping over the fence, we're not doing anything, but we're giving, we're giving the client a little bit more information than just your standard report. We're not talking about jumping over a wall and taking videotape. We're not talking about climbing over a wall and getting videotape, but we are talking about jumping up, walking to someplace like this, taking a quick view, and then jumping down. And what I've noticed is, claimant's front of their house has been freshly landscaped. There's still a lot of landscaping to be done in the backyard. There are a number of fruit trees and then there's a bunch of smaller trees that are still in the landscaping pots. So what you've been able to, what you've been able to do is you're actually able to develop some information to say these people might never come out of their house during the course of your investigation, but they could very well be in their backyard landscaping their house. So again, you're building some information that you might not see from sitting in your car and just hoping that something comes out. That's the goal of today's lesson.